Actually, we're going to Guatemala. Ah, but you have to stop there? Yeah, you know, that's the easiest way to get to where we're going. Ah, and then once you get there, you're going to catch a private plane or a bus? It's uh, a local puddle jumper. Yeah, if you it's, not, will. No, it's public. It's not yeah. private. Yeah. It's then we have to get in the dugout canoe, I heard. You have to get in the dugout? Dugout canoe. That, that, oh, that's, that's a good To go up the river. Oh my gosh, with all your things. <laughs> It sounds, it sounds a little scary. What about the water current? You think you'd be okay? The what? The current, the strong current, not and the current. No, you gotta worry about that. that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do I need to, uh, or I shouldn't ask you, do I need to? Do you so here's Jim and I coming up to TSA. And of course, Jim had TSA pre-check, so he breezed right through. But no, not me. The attendant pointed so over there. Pre-check, I have to go. And I felt like I was being sent to the group and W bench. As in Alice's restaurant. You remember Alice's restaurant. But hey, it actually worked out very well for me. Um, license, right? Yep. Sorry, it's been a little while. Richard, you're going to go. Make sure you put that in your wallet or, or secure it in your bedroom. Will do. A lot of people are going to lose it. Yeah, it, it's easy to do, right? I've gotten through TSA and now I'm looking for Jim in the gate. Of course, Jim is probably already on the plane sipping a cocktail. Or well, maybe not, it's only about 7 in the morning. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. There you are, Mr. Weiss. Thank you. Thanks, darling. Bye. And we're off to Atlanta to join Rick and our shipmate for the next 10 days or so. Touchdown in Atlanta. We'll be here for a short time, and then it's off to Belize City. Olivia, Jim, looking for my camera bag. There you go. Hey, Have thanks for the ride. You're we'll see you later. Have a good week. Safe yeah, travels. you too. Yeah, here we are headed up the escalator, and uh, boy, Jim is really becoming quite the pack mule here. I'm just now finding the gate, and Rick and Jim have found each other. This is the first time I'm meeting who we're about to share a great adventure with. So where'd you come from? Uh, Colorado. Oh, wow. So, Holy Denver. moly. Yeah. So I flew in from uh, Denver to here last yesterday. Okay. Spent the night because it was an early flight. Yeah, and, right, right, yeah. And then uh, yeah, getting here. Here we go, off to Belize City. I never care for the way the wings shake around. It makes me a little nervous. How about you? Here we're approaching the airport in Belize. This is our first view of the topography. The smoke off in the distance is how they create new farmland in the jungle by the slash and burn method. We're about to land in Belize City. 
it's starting to get very, very real. Here's our first view of the Tropic Air Fleet that will take us on to the Punta Gorda airstrip. Being a John Deere fan, I got a big kick out of the fact that they used John Deere garden tractors to move their freight around the tarmac. Jim and Rick are here working on securing us a flight to Punta Gorda Police. Got a what? Got to get the mud. My phone didn't know where I was. Get Jim and I together. These guys head, heading up for lunch. So we just got in. We got through immigration and customs with a little bit of hassle, but not too bad. Guys just took our all of our uh, our gear, our baggage to go on Tropic Air, so we can go to Punta Gorda a little bit later today. But right now we're going to go up and have a little lunch. See how bad this is going to be. It's going to be hot out there. No? to uh, the other end of uh, Belize at this point. Punta Gorda, I think, is where we're going. We're going to Punta Gorda? Yes. All right, good deal. I saw some of them. I saw the big black one with the green stripe on it. That's there. Save me a seat, Jim. Pardon? Save me a seat. I had never been on a plane like this. I've been on one a little bit smaller, but it was made for two people. All right, back there, Rick. Oh yeah. All right, good deal, man. <laughs> My, uh, hang on. Completely different experience. Yeah. Go here, fishing this lake, or just hanging out. Or Ah, we're coming down to, we're actually going to end up in Guatemala, we're going to oh, pick up this guy's catamaran, or we're going to sail it, and we're up. A little bouncing around, but uh, not too bad so far. A little bit different than the 757 we came in on, I'll tell you that much.
If you want a restroom, go in here, Jim. The cool breeze, yeah. Hello. What do you think? 